Hey guys, my name is Katril and today we're here for Let's Play Factorio. This is already episode 11 and today we're going to extend our uh, factory a little bit. Um, last episode we're, we've been working on uh, creating more throughput to our uh, smelting area. And it seems that more iron is coming through. Uh, still it's not enough to support to get the lines really really full so we're going to add even more furnaces in order to create more furnaces we are going to need more steel so I'm going to run off to get some steel and I also need some stone but as you can see steel is starting to back up so that is really positive um, and we also have quite a lot of solar panels ready so I'm going to take them I'm not going to well let's play them directly because we are going to need the, all the power we can get it seems that we're producing enough power to uh, fill up our uh, accumulator so that's really uh, positive uh, I believe I do have some more to close that one up there we go and we have another field done so I'm really satisfied with having this field uh, done actually let's check up and we have already 128 solar panels good for 7.7 .7 megawatts of power so that's really good but we're going to extend our factory and therefore we need it a lot of more stone because we're going to create furnaces and those furnaces are going to support our iron production so we're going to extend some lines so we can uh, take materials off that line and that means that we're already getting four more furnaces up and running at least that should be the case once we have enough inserters But this line is also nicely backed up. So we're going to add more furnaces there as well. And our production is uh, going off the roof after this uh, massive uh, increase. As you can see, these lines are already starting to back up. So that is absolutely crazy. So we generated ourselves some uh, really good nice production area of uh, steel plates and copper plates which is extendable let's material come through very far and uh, we got uh, two four six eight on every 16 32 furnaces for uh, steel plates and we have eight 14 furnaces for copper plates so far so we're producing a lot of materials at the moment and as you can see our power is usage is also really really high as you can see we're producing uh, almost eight megawatts of uh, furnaces for the furnaces and uh, our uh, cloud becomes really big so far and we might piss them off so we have to keep that in mind we have to make sure that we get the proper ammunition and therefore we are going to extend our uh, factory a little bit um, like I said this iron patch is going to be uh, well I'm going to leave it for what it is it's a little bit uh, in the way but uh, I'm not going to worry about it 
but these trees are making me uh, blah. they are a little bit annoying but you guys uh, will know that of course because you probably guys uh, think the same about the trees if you do think about it uh, differently about it uh, feel free to leave uh, any uh, comments below in the section for uh, for it I'm not going to be mad or something but uh, I want some uh, nice discussions about it that can be fun so I decided to uh, start up a factory for uh, producing uh, bells because I'm creating them uh, myself uh, all the time and which is taking a lot of time but we also can make red transport belts and transport belts need uh, the yellow ones so this one is going to take it from there basically this factory is also going to be used uh, later on so we're going to make a smart inserter use smart inserters to uh, limit the production so we when it uh, the time is there we can add it uh, properly properly I must say um, and what does it need it requires iron plates and iron gear wheels and uh, therefore we have to use our wonderful idea um, let me see let's do it like this and this one is going to add up there Let's make some more of those undergrounds. And then we should have some belts left over. Connect it up there. Use a splitter to go up. gonna hold it for there for a little bit um, going to require some steel to make a smart chest because I like to use smart chests because I can use them later on as well uh, and convert, convert it to uh, other uh, chests again uh, like requested chest or something like that so that's why I lo love to use them and now it requires power so going to use the poles to power it up place a large pole in between and it should start working and we're going to limit uh, this for now by just doing this up to two two stacks each this one is full and requires gears so add it up like this now we have that set up um, I think it's time for uh, well let's see we're researching flight we have our production fully going mm, we have some nice backlogs on there let's increase our power output since we're still relying fully on uh, on uh, coal power 
I want to switch completely to to uh, solar po power. I'm taking my panels, and we'll be, be getting a lot of uh, panels uh, already. So that is really good. But still, it's not enough, of course. So we're making a nice big field again, full with solar panels and accumulators. Um, we're going to connect them again with a power pole. And we start off by placing the first rows of power pack. But then again, it requires these as well. to it so I had to remove that solar panel unfortunately but we do seem to have a lot of power getting uh, in right now and I believe I made the same mistake right now by adding in the power But at least we get a full block of power again. So we have three large squares of power already being produced. And let's see how much it's producing. Does it get to 10? Yeah, it does. 11, 11 megawatts so far. And I decide to go for construction robots because they are going to make it so much easier for us. But before we are going to produce uh, those robots, I'm going to starting to set up our uh, facility for uh, module production since they are going to produce. Uh, take up a large amount of all the items that we are producing. I want to have it as effective as possible, of course. And I tried a different uh, method. in my own factory but I want to try something else uh, right now and hopefully it's gonna going to work otherwise uh, I have to try something else um, But I do need more materials. Hopefully it's going to work. And 
which this should be making small which will be inserted into there which is going to produce medium of course um, but I do also need to set up a different system for storing up the smaller ones oh, I'm not checking it out what we can produce because it's not going to be easy to produce a lot of modules and also in a very short time of course because we're going to need uh, a lot of speed modules also effectivity models am I saying it properly efficiency modules and uh, the last one is productivity modules so these ones require the green and red these ones are going to require the green and red as well but I believe also uh, the uh, same as uh, well I'm going to oh my gosh I cannot get out of my words sorry guys can't get out of the words at the moment so annoying so annoying let's just build it first and then we'll see how it goes after if it's going to be a real disaster or it might work out properly uh, properly who knows uh, this one is going to be like that like this then it should connect there and there we need some splitters and we cannot already connect these up up to there make another one there we have the splitters going to be there and there up to there and these are up and running so that's good make some of those Hopefully this is going to work uh, guys because it's going to cost a lot of uh, things and uh, it might be a failure but it can hopefully work as well so who knows who knows what's going to happen but I thinking of something um, so I decided to do it a little bit different and we're going to cut it off right here it will get up um, hopefully it's working But we're going to require some splitters. But that's just going to be a problem for later. Uh, into there, there. As you can see this factory is going to be huge and we need some more of those And 
that will be the last product of each uh, module of course so these should be working soon and these ones are going to be the pink ones so we have to extend this line a little bit ahead and uh, these are going to make all the modules we need like I said I wanted to have a system that stores it up as well and we're going to do it on the edges we might need some more inserters for that so let's create them on the spot Alrighty, let's create some chests, which uses up all our steel of course, but luckily our production is uh, becoming better and better, and uh, it shouldn't be a problem anymore. Let's make some power poles as well, basically we can make provided chests, so that's a really good thing actually, because these ones are going to be in our uh, in our uh, factory so therefore we definitely need those uh, packs uh, there no not there one I had there and there up just outside of its range and we still have a lot of problems with our steel But nothing uh, to be done so far. We're not going to do it something uh, with it uh, so far, I mean. And off they go. As you can see, uh, I give the uh, priority first to our the uh, speed modules. After that, I'm going for the... Uh, efficiency modules and as last uh, the productivity modules but I made a lot of chests so I'm going to place them now I have set orders to them but we don't have a logistics network yet so we're going to take these set these filters there and there this one is going to filter out the greens and this one is going to filter out the blue ones and that's working so we're gonna start working on our blue speed modules let's go And first let's limit it to one stack because otherwise we're going to have a large very large number and we will be wasting our resources on uh, the modules of course these are going to be a lot of number for the resources but in the end it will be uh, good 
it should be enough and sufficient. Um, I'm not satisfied with uh, how far the production of our steel is coming. Um, our iron line is doing great, so I decide to uh, extend it a little bit, or going to extend it a little bit. So we're going to produce more steel, because it's definitely not enough what we are producing right now. And I ran out of shotgun shells again. And I destroyed one of my uh, inserts. Great. Well played, uh, Catrill. You're ruining our production. Um, let's make three more ovens uh, for now. That should be alright, I guess. Oh, that one is a little bit off placed. I noticed that the power cannot connect. So I'm placing additional substation there. Let this line go down. Let this one go get up. Should be all right. Now we have to wait for the production to get at least the insert is to be produced. And there we go. And we should have more steel in the future. And as you guys might see, production is uh, increased a lot. And it's taking up our all of our uh, red uh, circuit uh, boards by all the modules that are being produced right now. So we should increase our uh, production there as well. But I'm going to do that with uh, our newest equipment that we have. Also going to make some more chests. And I also need more of this. Take some more of this. Let's get some green circuit boards as well. And now we're creating a lot of stuff in our uh, inventory. And I'm going to replace some chests every now and then extend some chests where there's going to be a chest later on. going to replace our uh, factories with the modules or the newest assembling machines the yellow ones because they produce a little bit faster and the crafting speed is 1.25 and this one is 0.75 so this is already faster than it used to be so that's really good Meaning that we're producing more red circuit boards because they are also consumed by uh, our science and we don't want to let that fall around. Um, 
I made a mistake there. I cut off the copper. I don't know why I did that. It wasn't on purpose. Can we make... Yeah, we can make electric engines. But it needs lubricants. And we don't have lubricants. Uh, well, we have lubricants, but not in our uh, production lines uh, yet. So... Uh, yeah, we do have time for it to set it up. Well, we don't actually have time to set it up. I'm going to make already the pipings and uh, we have something to do next episode. Oh my gosh, I have so much random stuff in my inventory. As you can see, this is slowly becoming worse and worse. Here is one, not working anymore. Um, so we can almost delete this line. So much stuff to do. But we managed to uh, get the stone deposit uh, cleared away there. So we can delete this line. So we actually did achieve something uh, at least this episode. This is not going to be used anymore. Accidentally pressed a button there. Let's clear this away. And we might want to swap this part around. In the future so we're going to leave it uh, for what it is there going to take out the red inserters though because they are not needed and we're going to extend uh, this line and we're going to do that with a splitter of course where is the splitter there it is and the copper should get through now to these ovens as well and uh, insert more copper plates into our sh system or at least the oven should start working For now, this will be the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, these last two episodes have been a little bit messy. Um, there are a lot of problems to solve and we're extending our factory quite uh, fast. So we're really putting the edge on our uh, production uh, right now. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. And feel free to leave any comments uh, below in the section. And uh, I will see you guys next time.